And now, back to the Penny Gilly Show on RFD TV. My guest today is absolutely one of my favorite entertainers of all time, Mr. Roy Clark. Well, bless your heart. You didn't have to say that. But I'm glad you did. Well, you are. You, Roy, I tell you, to, to be this close, uh, you know, it's, it's such an honor for me because I'm like the millions of people out there in this land that love you so much. I mean, you've, you're an incredible entertainer. Well, you're a very sweet person. And I, today I want to just, I want to, the fans out there watching, they know you've had every award known to man. I mean, from Entertainer of the Year Award, the ACM, Picker of the Year, it just, Comedy Act of the Year. You've, you've won so many awards. But there was your a life. time, you know, during that period when I was getting all these awards, I got a little nervous because I thought someone had talked to my doctor and said, if you're going to give him anything, you better do it now. It really, because it just seemed like all of a sudden, every time I turn around, and, and I'm most appreciative and I love it. But when you start getting all these awards, you start getting nervous. <laughs> well, don't be nervous. After all these years, how many years in the business has it been now? Well, if you want to say in the business, it's been, uh, we're calling this our 60, 50, 20 uh, year. 60, 50, I've been 60 years picking on a guitar, uh, 50 years married. Uh, we just celebrated our 50th wedding anniversary and Wonderful. 20 years as a member of the Grand Ole Opry. So that's our 60, 50, 20. All of those awards, and today, to this matter of fact, this very day, and you're getting ready to be inducted to the Branson Entertainment Hall of Fame. I, I saw a few minutes ago where they, they gave incredible. you this incredible award. That's awesome. It really, because I've, like I uh, told them, I said, I've seen Branson, you know, start off as a little country, sleepy country, Missouri town, in, into an entertainment mecca, the whole world knows about Branson. Oh, yeah. You know, and when Branson started getting so much notoriety and uh, all the big news, CBS News came down and all of the CNN and all of them, they're just trying to figure out what is this, you know, then everybody else said, hey, I got a lot of people who were saying, we want to start Br uh, Branson in our town. And I said, well, you ought to try to start something that fits your town. Don't try to, to copy Branson mm -hmm. because we don't know how it's happening. It just, everything came together. Yeah. So to try to duplicate that is just impossible. Well, Roy, Ed, the, the folks home watching, I mean, everybody watched you from all those years on Hee Haw. And it was, I mean, just brought so much joy. And, and then the days when the Beverly Hillbillies. Oh. That had to be. It was. It a was lot so good. Fun. That was. Um, I was nervous going in because I did not know Buddy Epson or Irene Ryan or Donna Douglas or or Max Bear. But soon as I got there, when we were doing the read through of the script, they made me feel so at home. And uh, and then on top of that, I got my first television kiss from did Donna you? Douglas. Ooh. So that's not a bad deal. No, no, no. <laughs> well, well, I want to say too. Now, you know, after 50, 60 years or whatever, you think that you would be slowing down a little bit from all the travels and tours. You're an international star. This guy has played everywhere from Madison Square Garden and Carnegie Hall all the way to Moscow. You're an international star, but you're doing more shows today. As ever. Well, no, not, not as ever, because, you know, I was doing for years and years about 200 days a year. And uh, I had a little surgery done to correct a hip um, that was giving me a, a lot of pain and to give me time to sit back while I was recuperating and get to thinking, should I still be doing 200 days a year? Somewhere along the line, it doesn't make sense. So I, I sort of set a figure, uh, sub, 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 in other words, we can change it if we want to. <laughs> but I said about 70 days, that would be enough that would keep the band happy. Yeah. Uh, we'd have a chance to see our fans. 
uh, instead of going five and six years before we went back around. And uh, so it's working out good. It's working out to slow down just enough, but we've left an opening for those special things that do happen. So they're called and they want you to do this, and, and you say, well, I plan to go fishing that day, but <laughs> okay, let's go. Roy, since you were here last night performing, and also to, tonight at RFD, we would like to take a look at your show last night and let the folks at home catch a peek, okay? I'd like to see it myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I had a real nice request earlier. A lovely young lady came up and asked me if I would sing the first hit record I ever had. Well, the thing, the first thing that crossed my mind was she didn't look old enough to remember the first hit record I ever had. Because I recorded this song in 19, it was at a bottle. I don't go back much further. Reached out my arms and I touched you with soft words. I whispered your name. I had your love on the tips of my fingers, but that was as close as I came. a vision of sweet lips yielding beneath my command I had your love on the tips of my fingers but I let it slip right through my hands but I let it Slip right through my hands. I want to thank my special guest, Roy Clark, for being here. And it's been such an honor, Roy. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless Best you. Best of everything. This is an awesome guy. We'll be right back after this message. Thank you, love.